Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Omar. I am here in UAE for about six years now. I am recently converted in Islam two years ago, and I am a former Roman Catholic Christian. As a Roman Catholic, I used to believe that Jesus is God, and that's what my family taught me about it. Uh, I have doubts that Jesus is God, and I don't know where to find the answers. Until then, I came here in Dubai, uh, 2008, and I wasn't sure about the culture, and I would, I'm not thinking about the Islamic, the Islamic thing here in this country, because I wasn't sure what's, what, I, what to expect here. So, uh, when I came here 2008, my father used to live near the masjids, and I used to come with him, early in the morning, so like 5 o'clock to 5.30 in the morning. Then, during that time, I used to see people going to masjid and they are like running or something, they're walking fast, uh, dropping with water with their arms or something like this in their faces. And I thought it was just sweat or something like this. But I used to have questions in my mind, what's in there? What's what they're going? What what they're what they're going what they're doing, and one time, I had with my stepmom also here in UAE. So one time I was sitting outside and I was looking at the guy who was with a beard, and he saw me that why are you looking at him, and my my that's what my stepmom saying. And I, I just didn't reply, and I said, I'm just looking at him. And he said, do you want to be a Muslim? If you want to be a Muslim, you have to grow those beards, and like this. And, and I was petrified. I was mortified about that, that growing a beard, like, oh God, I cannot grow a beard like that. And I was, that's too, uh, for me before, that's too outrageous to do that. And, um, and I was just, it just kept on my mind. But during that time when I was looking, when I was looking at them, I think I, I wasn't ready. But I think I have this eagerness. Eagerness for what? Eagerness to see what, I'm curious what is, what they're doing. Whenever I hear the Adan, whenever I talk on the phone, I, I stop talking on my phone, I'm listening to the Adan. And I really love to, listen to Adan and because of my eagerness and maybe subhanallah this is maybe Allah was make me to do uh, we run up water in our villa so we don't have any water so what we what we need to do is to go to the masjid to take water so I got there, I, got, I, took the, I took some water and I had a chance to see what's going on inside. So during that time I was still curious what's inside the masjid, what they are doing and why they have a lot of things inside and so on and so forth. And I still have this question in my mind and after that, three years later, uh, when I left my father's house, in my stepmom's house. Oh, three years. Uh, three years. You didn't get a chance to learn what's inside the mosque. No. Why not? Three years. You didn't learn anything about Islam. No. Why? Because, because what my stepmom told me during that time, I was so outrageous. I didn't have the chance to learn it, to learn it, and I don't know how. I don't know how, how to learn it, but. I wanted, but I don't know how. So after these three years, what happened? After three years, when I left my father's house and my stepmom's house, and I stayed with my sister's house for six, six months, and during my stay is during my stay with my sister, it was really good because you're living with your family again and you know, something like this. Then one day. I was sitting in the house and my sister told me that, the, that she will go to the uh, grocery, the west zone, something like this, to take, some, to, take, to take some groceries. So when she came back, she threw me a book, like an, an, 
I don't even remember the title, but it's, it says the understanding about Islam. It's something like this. Then she threw it in my bed and it said, somebody gave it to me and I don't have the chance to read it. And I said, okay, I just kept it in my bed for one week. Then um, one time I was really bored and I took it to my work. Then I was like, okay, he said, I, I, I'm going to read this book and sitting in my table in my work. So when I read this, when I read this, I read the book like maybe an hour and I'm starting to feel better because the scientists who was there was they, they learn about the Islam or so something like this, the science, everything, the Quranic, uh, the Quranic, the Quranic verses, the, this, the science, this, their studies, it's all comes together and there is no conflict about it. And, and for me, when I, when I read, the, when I read those, those, those scientists who studied, Islam, who studied the book, the Quran, and I said, I was like, I was, this is the answer I want to know. Because they have the proof, they have everything. So when I turn the book, it has, it has telephone number on it, and I called this, this telephone number, and the guy answered, answered, answered the phone, and he asked me if I want to become a Muslim because I was, I, I told him that I need to know something, and the guy said to me, "If you want, you can come in our Islamic center here in the Yafa, in the Yafa, at the backside of the Karaforex, the Karaforex Express." So, before, when I left my work. I didn't go in my in my accommodation first. I need to find this place immediately. I don't know why why I was feeling like that. I need to know. I need to find this guy. I need to know. I need to find this place. And when I found the place, you know, the warm welcome. They welcome me. They embrace me. They give me food. They give me water like this. They sit me inside, and they started to uh, to tell me about the pillars of Islam the, and, and everything. And when they asked me if I want to become a Muslim, and I said, just easy yes for me, because the answers in my mind, uh, the questions in my mind, that's in my mind are all answered. So, uh, and I really wanted it, because I, and I really wanted the, it's okay. Right. Uh -huh. uh, what questions did you have in your mind? Uh, like there are a lot of things. There are a lot of things like my the question that's come to my mind: where I'm gonna be after after I die? And the guy the guy said if you and the guy said if you do good things, you'll be in paradise. If you do bad things, what 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 Allah has ordered to to do good and what Allah has for for vid and not to do, and, and then you'll go to the to paradise. I was telling like this is the answer I need to know because in in my childhood days this is my question always comes in my mind. Where I am after I die. Okay, and now uh, now you've been Muslim for two years. Mm -hmm. How how do you like Islam? What did you find that was really amazing in Islam and? Uh, how is your life now compared to before? What differences are there? Is your life better now? I, being, being a Muslim now is one big factor for me that changed me because those bad things, I eliminate them easily. And before it was, don't have the nice connection, uh, I mean, I don't have the, the strong connection with my, with my family. Now I have these this things that I need to, uh, what, Islam has, what Islam is teaching is not to, uh, not to forget your relatives, stay, stay with them, and, and, it, and it's like this. And especially to my, to my father, to my sister, it was like this. 
I get a strong connection with them, a strong relationship now. And uh, and the brotherhood was so amazing, subhanAllah. And what the, what would you have to say now? If there's anyone out there, you know, uh, thinking about entering Islam, uh, if they want to know more about Islam, what, do you have to, what would you say to these people? I think as a new uh, for those people who want to become a Muslim is if you really want if you really really wanted to know if you really really wanted to know about Islam is if you have these feelings that questions in your in uh, questions in your mind or inside you that you feel confused don't hesitate to come to some of the nearest Islamic centers and if you want to learn about Islam don't don't wait till long time because we don't know where we don't know when Allah will take take our soul or when we will gonna die because if we take it quite long time and we need to know the truth like me it takes quite some a year to uh, to come in Islam so if you have this this feeling that you have to know Islam immediately you have to come some of, or you read some books in the internet or, or the nearest Islamic center you need to come because we don't know where, where we're gonna be because tomorrow is not promised for us if we're gonna live or we're gonna we're gonna die okay is there anything else you'd like to say I think um, I would just like to say that I was I was thankful that I entered Islam because uh, without without Islam I don't know where I am right now because I feel I feel my life is so complete and everything everything is everything now for me it's everything now for me it's so clear that if I did this, if I did that, there's a consequences. And I think that's that's the best way I can say. What else what else what else I what else I have to say it's I'm really thankful, alhamdulillah.